Hey guys, Flix and Comics Jojo here. So I just got back from an early screening of Thanksgiving and I wanted to of course come back here and report to you all about it because we have talked about how excited we've been for this movie on my show on The Real, so go check that out. But yes, guys, my quick thoughts here, spoiler free of course, um, but getting into it. So did I like the movie? You know, I really did. I had a great time with it. Um, well aware that it's not a perfect movie though. <laughs> uh, definitely has some pacing issues, especially in like Acts 1 and 2. It felt very stop and go. Um, the cold open was awesome. It was hilarious. It was gory. It was everything I needed it to be. And it was promising for the rest of the movie, but I feel like the rest of the movie, it, it just... It delivered where it needed to with the kills, but it was the in-between scenes that were very like slow and sluggish. I felt like they definitely could have cut those down um, or just removed some of those altogether because that's what made it feel like, like the whole movie overall felt a little long. So yeah, um, also during those in-between scenes, it did feel also like we could have used, I mean, I could have used a little more humor in those scenes, like just to give our characters some more personality. They, they seemed very bland to me. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like that could have helped, but also maybe some more building of suspense, like leading up to the kills. Cause the kills themselves were awesome. Like not only, um just visually but but i felt like they were well written too because you know you had like one-liners and puns just like really really smart jokes but very on the nose as well so it was it was very fun though like i was eating it up and um plus the over the top gore alongside that and the fact that you know with the whole thanksgiving theme just awesome awesome my issues definitely lie in the scenes between the kills, like I'm saying. Um, it just, yeah, it, it was slow and it was like tonally off as well because you got those hilarious over the top kills, but then it was like during the in between, it was kind of serious in a weird way. And it, yeah, a little more humor or just, not even like laugh out loud puns or like obnoxious jokes or anything like that, um, like we got in some of the later scenes, um, but just like, just some, some witty writing, like that would have helped, I think. Um, so yeah, it just felt like a lot of, there was a lot of, a lot more effort when it came to the kills in this movie, which again, I think saves the movie because like, that's why I enjoy this movie is because of the kills. It's because of, you know, the ridiculous, like Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving theme of it all. I love the fact that, you know, it's, it's like a love letter to the late nineties teen slasher flicks. Awesome. Like it was very much in the vein of scream and I know what you did last summer. So if you like those movies, then you might like this movie. Um, even with the flaws and all, like, cause that's, that's where I'm at. I love, I love the teen slasher subgenre of horror. So I really did enjoy this, but, but yeah, it's, it's not without its flaws. I'll say that guys. It was also during those in between scenes, they did a lot of like detective work, you know, but it was pretty weak detective work. I knew from the get-go who the killer was and I was actually pretty shocked that it turned out to be that person because you guys like it was so obvious. I couldn't believe it but I don't know if that just adds to the humor of it all you know. It's it's a it's a fun one though I gotta say like <laughs> I, I would definitely watch it again, but again, I can't recommend it to everybody because 
not everybody likes over the top gore and horror comedy, you know? I feel like this is for a very particular type of person with a very particular type of horror comedy needs, you know? Like, it's not, it's, it's definitely not something that, like, I don't know, my mom or, like, my grandma would like, you know? <laughs> so keep that in mind.